All right, perfect. Okay, um, thank you everyone for uh, coming today to hear our session on effective inventory distribution and how that can assist you in ensuring high revenue performances from your from your rooms and inventory. My name is Tim Weeks. I'm the VP of Business Development in Europe here for RateGain. Um, we're going to focus today on RateGain's uh, distribution wing with ResGain, which we'll talk about in a bit more detail instead of our reputation management and price intelligence areas. Um, but we're happy to talk about those in the question session at the end if you wish. Um, a couple of points of overall housekeeping. We have a um, busy, a very busy session again. So what I'm going to do is we're going to keep you all on mute for the duration of this uh, session. If you do want to ask a question, there is an option on your control panel to raise your hand there or you can type a question into the question box on your control panel as well and that will pop up in front of me so I can answer it um, as, as we go along but feel free to um, raise your hand or ask a question I can unmute you if you raise your hand or if you type a question in I'll just read it out. Uh, won't take long today probably about 15 minutes to rattle through these slides and then we've got five ten minutes for a question and answer and we'll all be back uh, doing our day jobs at half past but I hope that uh, you hear something of interest to you today that will assist you in developing your uh, distribution strategies moving forward. The four key areas that we uh, we really focus on in this session is uh, to talk about some of the challenges being faced by hoteliers today. We're going to move on to a introduction to ResGain and how the, the features within ResGain, our distribution 3.0 channel manager system, can assist you in optimizing your revenues and ensuring automation of maximizing your revenues but also reducing your cost base as well. Uh, we're going to talk about some of those features of a next generation channel manager and what they mean and uh, we're going to talk about some of the foundations that we as Rate Game build on and believe are important to the market. However, uh, for anyone that's attended one of these sessions before, you'll like to know that we like to make sure you're paying attention and listening. Um, so what we're going to do is to guide my talking a little bit. I don't run on the script on these things. To guide my talking a little bit today, I want to ask a couple of poll questions before we get started and dive into the inventory so we can understand what it is that, that's most important to you. So um, we'll do that now. We'll do a couple of polls and then we'll get into the bulk of the presentation. So you, if we can have our first poll up today, it's really to understand from you, the audience here, um, what in your experience uh, what amongst the three P's as we identify is the most crucial indicator of revenue management? Is it is it the product range and positioning? Is that what you're striving for? Is it about pricing? Is, is price the sole thing? Or is it people and perceptions in the marketplace? Is it people's perceptions of you that are, that are Im impacting the most on revenue management? If you um, go ahead and uh, click the little... Uh, the little buttons on the boxes in front of you. Okay, perfect. That's um, that's enough time on that poll. So let's have a quick look at those results. A pretty even split straight down the middle, 30, 30, 30 percent. That's, that's a, we've never had a result like that before. So there you go. Um, interesting. So it is a bit of everything in revenue management. So it is about getting the complete picture. And, and I think as we walk through what we're doing today, we're, we're going to talk about some ideas for product range positioning. Uh, we're going to talk about pricing uh, to a certain extent, but that's more on you guys as the revenue professionals and, and a range intelligence element and also perceptions and how people perceive um, what the rates they're seeing and, and things you can do about that. Um, I want to just ask a second poll question at this stage as well before we, we go deep into this, which is to say, uh, if we can put the second poll up, um, our second poll is, which of these is your biggest challenge as a revenue manager? Is it reacting to shifting patterns in bookings? Is it is it staying on top of that? Um, of your, your open and closed channels? Is it balancing your distribution cost with the optimal channel mix and maximizing your ROI that way? Or is it about ensuring that revenue goals and budgets are met? 
Is it all about the bottom line? What are your biggest challenges? Okay, I'll give you a couple more seconds just to click on those boxes in front of you. Interesting. All right, a few more seconds. Okay, perfect. We'll um, we'll close that poll right there. Every single one of you went for balancing distribution costs with the optimum channel mix, and yeah, that's unsurprising. Uh, we do generally get a mix when we run those polls, but uh, optimizing your balancing of distribution costs with optimal channel mix is something that's very important. Is how do you monitor that? And we we'll, we will talk about that a little bit today. So. Some of the channel, as we said, these are what we've historically identified as being some of the biggest challenges faced by hoteliers. The high cost of distribution, and therefore getting the channel mix right. So it's about how do you maximize your product versus your revenue mix. You, you need to sell as much as you can, but is there any point in selling if you're selling it all to a, to a deep discount FIT rate? You need to get that balance correct, and you need to yield that balance in a in an efficient way as you as you walk through um, your day-to-day -day lives as revenue professionals. So what we want to do today is introduce some of the key elements that can support you in in maximizing your revenue in ResGame, um, which is a tool designed to make revenue management decisions and distribution faster. So it speeds up your processing times. It's meant to make it smarter, so it can begin to do some of the thinking for you, uh, based on your rules. We'll talk about rules a bit more later, and it's easier. It's about an easier interface and an easier distribution of rates and inventory. So you don't need to. So you're spending less time worrying about distributing and more time worrying about yielding and maximizing your rates and products and services. So what is a next generation channel manager? What do we mean when we talk about that? Well, we mean more channel supported, more channel supported in a API, more channel supported in a two-way interface. We're talking about automated remapping, so the, all, the ability of the channel manager to ensure that you're always mapped to the extranets and your rooms are mapped to each other. We're talking about seamless integrations to PMS systems, ideas, that type of distribution tool. We're talking about the allowance of linked rooms. So if you yield against one room type, you yield against all. So single click updates, uh, linking all your rooms together. And we're talking about booking fetch. So we're talking about delivering bookings back into your channel manager or into an integrated CRS or PMS. We're talking about all of that, but we're talking about doing it in a smarter way. So, and what do I mean? Well, what the key things that really make a better and easier life for you are doing faster promotions management, a smarter reservation dashboard, and easier automated inventory management, which all add up to better yield and better revenue returns for you in the hotel. So let's start off today by looking at one of those elements of, as how we can use promotions to drive business to your, to your websites. Um, this is the first time that global promotions can be handled within a channel manager. Um, so we're very excited to offer to offer a promotions dashboard into ResGame, ResGame 3.0. Um, and it's a very straightforward complex concept, but it's something that for the first time brings two arms of your business together. It brings your marketing and revenue management together. It allows you to initiate promotions as a way of driving business from a standalone platform and manage that from one platform. So what promotions do is they drive a billboard effect. So if you may have a promotion out on uh, Travelocity, and we'll take a look at that in a minute, but that could drive a billboard to people to your website. But also, one of the key things we've talked about is managing your low-cost distribution channel. So how do you drive people to your lowest cost distribution channels. Promotions are a methodology of doing that. So here you can see a simple screen and you've got your two free nights promotion that you put in there. 
you direct people to the booking URL, which typically would be your brand.com. Um, you can put in your promotion code, so anything they need to put into the PMS or the internet booking engine at checkout. You add your promotional message in, so what are you saying? What are you promoting? What is your, your advert? So two nights free by booking between these dates. You can then custom create a 140 word, uh, 140 character line for Twitter. Give it promotion name, the length of stay, the book date, the stay date, etc. And for orbits, you can select if it's cumulative or not. And then that instantly pushes it out there to the four key channels. So it's pushing it out there to Travelocity. It's pushing it out there to orbits. It's pushing it out, most importantly, to Twitter, where your valued customers and your followers and your fans are seeing it. And it's pushing it out onto your Facebook page as well, again, so you're taking advantage of that social media space directly within your system. And what we'll talk about is how you link this to yield management later, but this is one of the really cool um, setups you can do with Inverse Gain that automates that distribution of promotions. So promotions are important, but they're not the be all and end all, and so far, you know, as we talk about increasing revenue and increasing your yield, uh, promotions, I'm not going to pretend they are everything. They're one way of driving business to your brand.com, which is your, typically your lowest cost distribution channel. But they create familiarity and they drive repeat business. But they aren't enough to drive all your traffic. You're not going to completely get away from the OTA world by pushing, pushing um, uh, promotions. Uh, down to the uh, down to the uh, websites and properties. So, uh, what do you do? You need to look at how do you gain the highest ROI from the rest of your channels. And it's it's not just to give enough to give out inventory to partners and negotiate costs. You need to understand who is delivering the right business to you. The only way and. <laughs> Uh, many of the revenue managers I speak to um, talk about uh, the volume of data that they engage with. So promotions aren't enough to drive traffic. How do you understand that it's the right business for you? This is about yielding performance intelligence metrics. So you can understand how all that information is coming in. So how do you see who's delivering the right business to you? ResGain is bringing some real key analytics into the business space to allow you to really understand the business that you're touching via a channel manager. So here we have the front page dashboard of ResGain and under the reports tab which is showing you your key KPIs, the number of room nights you've booked, your actual room nights compared to a previous period of your specification, the variance, the year to date totals of bookings you've got, the revenue that that's yielding for you, your comparisons of revenue, your comparison of ADR, and your, so your comparison of ADR allows you to see how your how your profitability is affected by this particular channel, and your length of stays are in there as well. So you can fully calculate how much revenue you're getting, but also the longer the length of stay, the more chance they're going to spend non-room revenue in your bars, restaurants, breakfast area if they're breakfast uh, if they're breakfast free. So you can begin to calculate the complete cost of the booking and the complete value of that reservation to you. As you can see on the right hand side we can begin to break out the room nights and total revenue length stay by channel. And this is absolutely key because if you can start understanding by channel you can start understanding what your ROI is. So you may know you're paying booking.com 20%, but if they're ultimately giving you 100 room nights, then that's a high value channel. However, if you're giving them 25% and they're only giving you three room nights, is that your highest value channel? Is that a channel you really want to be driving business to? Uh, and the same for orbits and hotel beds in these, in these situations. So you can you can compare the number of room nights versus the revenue they're giving you versus the length of stay. So you can really start ranking your customers and really digging into a much more detailed level of data and mapping your own graphs within the tool so you can do apples to apples comparisons of uh, channel by channel. And that allows you to truly understand the business that's coming to you from a channel manager. Because it's only when you truly understand the business that's coming in and you get to break it down by channel and then cross-reference that to your 
cross-reference those channels to your negotiated contract, so what percentage you're paying each of these OTAs, that you can understand the true value of your business and how you want to use that information to better yield your better yield your rates and revenue going forward and yield is your distribution strategy and your rate strategy as well. Obviously you break down by revenue, we can break it down by ADR as well. Uh, average length of stay gets mapped in there as well, so all giving you key analytics that you can look at and analyze, but also that you can share with, uh, with uh, your less numerical um, people in your organization. I was going to say GMs, if we, I we haven't got a GM on the call today that I've just insulted by saying they're not analytical enough, but the majority are revenue professionals, so we know what we're talking about. So, I've talked about understanding your distribution strategy, and I've talked about promotion management. Now, how do you use these KPIs and these promotion and this um, information you've found to truly distribute inventory in a better way? How do we make your lives easier and smarter and take you away from being stuck to a channel manager? Well, one of the first ways of doing that is by using a common pool of inventory. And this is not a new concept within channel managers. Many, many channel managers have a common pool. This is about managing inventory allocations to multiple OTAs from one central pool. So instead of giving each OTA five, ten rooms, you instead say, I have 40 rooms that I'm willing to sell to an OTA on a first come, first serve basis. So as soon as the room is taken, it updates that, that every other OTA to say there's one less in the pool, add infinitum, so you've got constant correct inventory management with all of those uh, OTAs out there and all your OTA partners. Now, current channel managers just provide automation of this task of distributing common pool of inventory. So how do we do it better? Well, I'm going to ask another quick poll question here because one of the key things is can we make your lives easier and can we automate the way we do yield management for you? So one of the ways to make your lives easier is to ensure that there's less work for you to do. So we're going to throw up another poll, and I'd appreciate if you can just click on the screen. We're about a quarter of the way, 26, 70 percent of the way through. So just see if you're still awake at the end. Here. Um, so, as a revenue management professional, how frequently are you updating your rates? Okay, daily. You've got a daily. Any advance on daily? Everyone's doing it daily. No one, no one so far doing it multiple times a day. Which is surprising. Um, I guess it depends on the size of the property you've got. We we normally acquire a lot of um, multiple times a day um, and daily. Okay. All right. 70% um, of people have voted. There's got to be a couple more out there, a few more out there that need to vote. Excellent. Let's uh, close that. All right, let's have a look at those poll results. A hundred percent of people went for updating their rates daily. So this is a this is a every day you have to be on top of your channel manager. Every day you need to be connected to your channel manager to see the bookings that are coming in, so you can effectively yield, change, and update and amend. That's a pretty onerous task, and it leads to the potential of you being in a meeting, of you being on holiday of the person you've left in charge at front office over the weekend, not understanding how to do it, which leaves you open to overbooking from low-cost channels. So destroying your, maxim ma your ability to maximize your inventory. What ResGain do is, is begins to answer the question, can I do better yielding of my inventory? And the answer to that is by introducing a rule manager. There are three types of rules built into our rules management feature within, uh, within ResGain. A yield optimization rule, a last minute window rule, and a close out rule. And I'll talk a little bit about each of these just uh, for a few minutes before we, uh, we go into to the, finishing, the finishing stretch. So a yield management rule allows you to change your rates automatically based on how busy you are. So we start off with the um, common pool functionality. And you start to build rules around the common pool functionality. You say if the common pool reduces to 50 rooms, 
then I want to increase my rate by 10%. If the common pool produces 40 rooms, increase my rate by 20%. So as you're selling more and more rooms, you can pool increases so you perceive cancellations, then begin to pull my price down. If the common pool increases one more, decrease price again. Uh, but if the common pool decreases to 20 rooms, then increase price by amounts. So you've got amounts and percentages. So what you're doing is you're at the beginning of the month, at the beginning of the year, you're setting up your yield strategy. You're saying, for every time I get 10, 40 bookings, I'm going to push my rate. So as my distressed inventory declines, as I fill up, I'm going to automate the process of distributing my rates. I'm going to automate the process of yielding. It stops you being tied to the channel manager. It stops you having to be constantly on top of things. You can build closeout rules into this. So when the common pool is below 10 rooms, so you're beginning to fill, close out, automatically close out your lowest, your highest cost channels. As it decreases, close out your next highest cost channel. As it decreases more and you're filling up, close out your last channel, and then when the common pools blow four, close out everything except your brand.com website. So as you fill, you control your costs of where you're taking those last rooms from. And this is all strategy that you're doing now, but imagine if you're sat there and you're in a four hour meeting and there's a booking rush comes in from a high cost channel, they've taken your common pool of inventory out there, and you've got to run back to your desk and desperately try and update the rates in time. What doesn't happen in this world because your rates are updated automatically as soon as these triggers are hit and met, allowing you to take a step back, have a glass of wine and relax a little bit more knowing that the tool is implementing your policies and programs and you're not reliant on doing it yourself. One of the other rules that's available in here that we actually don't have a slide on um, is uh, is a promotions management rule. So, you know, you're using your KPIs from ResGain to build your strategy. So you know that you're getting high volumes of bookings at the last minute from Booking.com or Expedia. Therefore, you want to keep them open up until the last possible moment, but close out your less valuable channels. So that's your strategy. You know you can yield rates at the last minute. When you get into distressed inventory terms, you know that a promotion works. But how do you know the exact moment to launch that promotion? Well, what you can do within the, this, the, this rule, rule section as well is distribute an automated promotion. So as soon as you hit a fixed day, that promotion gets cascaded down to you. So that's all uh, very, that promotion automatically gets pushed out. So we can link, you, you can link the promotions, the common pool, and the KPI information, which is the key to higher yield, all together within this tool to give you a single point of distribution and ultimately automate the process of maximizing your yields. It's about using your knowledge as revenue professionals, your knowledge of the market, garnered from price intelligence tools such as uh, Rate Gain's uh, Price Gain Hotels tool, to leverage income in the marketplace. Thank you. So uh, here at Raygain, we're building on strong foundations. We do know uh, what we're talking about. We've been effective in the market for about eight years. We have full RMS connectivity with Ideas, Easy RMS, and Rainmaker. We have two ACRS, PMS, and IPE integrations on the go with Sabre, Hospitality, Trust, and XM. We're working on others as well. Uh, we've got over 1,000 demand generating channels to choose from to connect to via Resgain. And we're very, very stable. Multi-threading and multi-sessional updates provide much faster processing of your changes. 730 million updates and growing we've done, and we're doing 99.1 success rate of updates, which is very, very good for any of you that know. So 99.1% of all our updates work. Um, we like to partner with our customers, so we'd like to take the opportunity to thank these guys from uh, BB Group from Barcello, from the Pride Group, and our partners at Park Plaza, Andrews, Lemon Tree, Mesa Hotel Convention, and Barcelona, Renaciamento, for spending time talking to us. Um, some of our other hospitality clients is there as well there, just to uh, show we are we are very well established in the market. So um, before we go into the full-on Q&A section, and I ask you to uh, drop some Q&As into uh, into the uh, into the box or raise your hand. 
Uh, I've got one last question and answer for you as you formulate your question. So let's put up the last poll question as we race towards the end. Um, and the last poll question we have is uh, a bit of a, a bit of feedback is always welcome. But which features of ResGain did you consider as the most effective in addressing your revenue management challenges? Is it our global promotions that I talked about? Is it the common pool that I talked about? Or is it performance intelligence? Okay. Last few last couple of people just to click through. Okay, perfect. Let's um let's end that there. Let's close that poll down and then we'll move to uh to see if there's any questions. Okay, interesting. Twenty five percent global promotions, fifty percent common pool. And I think common pool with the wool management is is a very, very effective tool in uh, assisting you to uh to work better. Um, the performance intelligence task was always very popular. I'm glad to see the global promotions got some love as well. Okay, so does anyone have any questions they would like to uh, they would like to send over? Uh, okay, we have <laughs> uh, presumably from uh, Stephen. Thanks for for that question. Um, presumably, the common pool rules have to be ignored in some instances to avoid causing issues with revenue strategy pushed out by the RMS and ensuring the yield strategy pushed out by the RMS is the same across all distribution systems and PMS direct distribution. Um, it depends. Yes, the answer is you can't set a. It's dangerous to set up a rule that that you can't ignore occasionally. I think um, it depends on how evolved you are as an organization and clearly if you're using uh, an integrated RMS approach then you're probably wanting to integrate the RMS more than you are a specific set of rules because the RMS is coming up with those rules for you. Um, the rules management within here is a fail safe for your own strategy or allowing you to set up rules based on standard requests that you have. Um, but you need to, to build your your multi-threaded strategy. So if your direct distribution strategy is to always give 40 rooms to the GDS, the common pool allows you to set to, to partition a section of your inventory. And I think this is the key about common pool is, is it's allowing you to partition a section of your inventory for um, for distribution to OTAs and lower cost distribution but also to um, also then partition by default the other section of your distribution as well if that answers your question <laughs> um, okay couple of other um, questions coming in uh, okay, what are the sites supported by Resgame for promotion? Right now, Facebook and Twitter are our main ones. Um, we also support Orbits and Travelocity, but we can build to others if there's specific uh, additional promotion work you need. Okay, uh, we've got another integration question, and um, Stephen's first question about integration with RMS is, is true. We can integrate this with RMS systems such as um, Ideas and, and Rainmaker. Um, we can also integrate with PMS systems. Uh, one that wasn't on there that we are working on very closely is Protel. So uh, yes, the answer to your question is yes, we are integrated with Protel. So thank you for that, uh, Jane. Um, uh, 
the okay thank great question from Josh is the uh, Josh best uh, is the um, pool inventory available to all websites at the same time it's available to the websites you tell it to be available to um, so you can dish you can set up one common pool that's available to a section and then your other tool your other ones would have their own personal allocation so you can say for these five websites I don't value them that highly so they get to share an inventory uh, and then you can set up for another five or six um, websites you'd, you'd distribute that your own inventory to them we are working on a release later this month that will actually allow you to have multiple common pools. So you could set up booking an HRS with 70 rooms to share and your lower, your, your Expedia and et cetera with 10 rooms to share with um, Expedia Orbits if, if you wanted to go that route. Um, Uh, another question from uh, Stephen about content management. We don't do con. Um, assuming you, there's a couple of de <laughs> there's a couple of definitions of content. So I'm going to go with my view of a definition of content, which is it's uh, about your rich media and hotel descriptions. It's not something we manage um, at present. We don't do content distribution. And uh, yeah, so thanks for that. We did not something we do right now. Um, and I think we've got one last question about the reporting, and all those reports are fully exportable to Excel as well. So uh, everything can be exported. And I think that's the end of the question. So thank you very much, everybody, for attending. Uh, we've run over time, which is unusual, but that's because we had some really great questions there. Um, oh, I've got another question there about pricing structure. Pricing is a uh, pricing structure is on a flat um, subscription basis, uh, depending on the number of channels um, that you're connecting to. Uh, so we're happy to discuss pricing on one-to-one. -one. You'll all be getting a thank you email after this thing where um, if you apply to that we'll uh, set up some time for a one-on-one -on -one discussion where we can talk about pricing but it's a flat subscription fee so you pay and one annual fee for use of the tool okay well great thank you for some really excellent questions um, thank you for taking the time out of your day to talk to us today I hope you found it interesting um, if you feel free to contact me on, um, uh, you can visit Redscape Rate Gain at any of those sites, but you can contact me directly on tim.weeks at rategain.com and we can uh, talk through anything you wish to talk about there. So please feel free to get in touch and I look forward to speaking with you again you all soon. Thanks a lot. Thank you.